able to go through with them. I'm Rob Atkinson. I'm president of the Information Technology and Innovation Foundation, ITIF. We're a think tank in Washington, D.C. Terrific. So you are studying the, uh, the, the new economy and have released a, uh, a document on the new economy index in which Colorado placed sixth overall. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that means for us? Sure. So we've been doing this report essentially since 1999, uh, <coughs> every few years. And what we're trying to measure is how well economies are, state economies are structured to succeed in the new global innovation-based economy. Not all economies have the same structural characteristics, the same capabilities, the same assets that they're going to need to succeed, which is why you've seen variety, variation in job growth and income growth over the last decade. Uh, so what we look at are really five variables, knowledge jobs, uh, how well you're prepared for a globalization and global linkages, a digital economy, um, dynamism, economic dynamism, new firms starting, uh, IPOs, whole set of things, how well you're creating new companies in a state, and finally technological innovation. You have the assets around corporate R&D, around venture capital, around scientists. We put all those variables together, mash them up, come up with a score, and Colorado ranks sixth. Massachusetts, perhaps not surprisingly, is number one. Uh, and then you've got states like Delaware, Washington State, Maryland, and California, uh, slightly above Colorado. So we rank states on this on, on these number of these variables around dynamism. How many um, new firms were formed? Uh, how many inventor patents were issued? And uh, and then another one, interesting one on on what we call churn: the number of new firms, the number of jobs lost because firms went out of business, and the number of jobs gained because new firms were created. And it actually turns out that that's an important variable. You don't want to have no firm loss, this churn, this kind of, if you think about what is an economy really, an economy is an evolving organism, that's really what an economy is, it's not a machine, it's an evolving organism, and if you think about our, our uh, you know, a species, what happens in species development is some, some individuals die because they're not adapted to the new conditions, and other ones are adapted and they thrive, and that's really what you want in an economy, you want an economy that's able to have your most adaptive companies thrive, ones that aren't have them go out of business. So now, I think sort of thinking a little bit outside the box in Colorado, Colorado's always been a little bit innovative. You, you now legalize marijuana, that's pretty innovative. Uh, you know, think outside the box on these new models of education, project-based learning high schools, science high schools. Uh, that's, I think, a way to sort of get ahead of the curve, not just in terms, again, about talent, but you want to be having a reputation. If you're an innovation-based state, you want to have a reputation of we're also doing the most innovative innovation policy. Uh, having a strong innovation economy, whether it's at a national level or a state level, you got to really do two things uh, at minimum well. Uh, you have to have a good business climate, a good regulatory climate. You got to be a place businesses want to be. But if that's all you are, you know, you, you can do that in Mississippi. You can do that in Alabama. You can do that in places where there's hardly any taxes, schools aren't very good because there are no taxes, um, they don't regulate very much, uh, you know, they're not innovation hubs. What you want is to be able to combine a good business climate, good regulatory climate with a set of public investments to make it a place that knowledge workers want to be and knowledge companies want to be. And so